Well, good afternoon. Here we are back in the forest, Epping Forest again. Uh, it's now November. Uh, a lot more leaves are off the trees, but they're not completely bare yet. There's still uh, still a good few leaves, leaves to fall yet. Um, and it's been quite a quite a day for me today. I've uh, I had a really good morning. I was actually here yesterday and took about in maybe five hours took about uh, four or five photographs of tree stumps, moss, a few and, and leaves. And it, I mean, lovely photographs. Well, I think they're <laughs> lovely photographs, but. I didn't uh, come away with any wildlife pictures, no birds and no wildlife. Spent lots of time sitting quietly, uh, as hidden and, and inconspicuous as I could be, didn't see anything. Um, uh, not true, I saw, I saw a nut hatch, um, but didn't, uh, you know, it was, it was too high up in the tree and uh, I, I couldn't get a, a good shot of it so I didn't um, I didn't uh, I didn't photograph it so five hours yesterday some very average photographs I'd say today um, I've spent maybe three hours so far and probably have about 40 minutes footage of deer, wild deer, wild fallow deer in Epping Forest. Um, and half a dozen photographs. Not in a perfect light and also the animals are largely obscured or partly obscured by foliage and twigs and branches and so on. But these are of course, these are wild animals and um, uh, then you know they're, they're not always going to be in perfect light and perfect uh, perfect conditions for, for photography so um, but I'm really pleased with what I got I'm really pleased to have spent time with wild deer who um, who didn't know I was there and who were just going about their daily business doing their own thing and um, I just you know that that to me is uh, you know that's <laughs> perfect. I really enjoyed it. It was great, really great. Um, but I just wanted to say a little bit about photography and how I see it. Um, I mean, I'm I, 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 in no way am I saying that everybody should see it like this. But I just thought I'd give you a little overview of how I see it. And um, for me, I, I mean, I I. I uh, I'm on Flickr and I, I love looking at um, people's pictures on Flickr. I love looking at other photographers and, and see the fantastic. There's some fantastic, absolutely fantastic photographers on Flickr, as there are on other platforms. I mean, I'm on a few other platforms, but uh, Flickr is where I spend most of my time. And um, there are some fantastic photographers on Flickr. I'm just blown away with the uh, the talent, the, s the skill and the... and just looking at the world through other people's other people's eyes you know different photographers now unfortunately we've got a plane going over every time i start recording anything we have a plane going over but anyway i'll just have to shout <laughs> but um yeah so flicker um what, what is wonderful also about flicker is that you have photographers from all over the world and you get an insight into um, into into their world, and I, I mean, I'm interested in wildlife photography, so I I follow lots of uh, wildlife photographers from different parts of the world, from you know India, Finland, the United States, all over, and um, and you know I, I mean you know I, I I see birds and animals which which uh, I'm, you know we just don't get here, and just quite it's lovely to see exotic animals or what uh, what are to us exotic they're probably very mundane and ordinary to lots of people in other countries but uh, um, you know to, 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 to me they're, they're excited it's exciting to see that and it's, it's exciting to see the different habitats that these animals live in um, so I, 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 I like that and but what I really like is looking at um, 
wild animals and animals in their natural habitat. Um, you can, of course, get fantastic. The best, the, the best way to get really good photographs of wildlife or animals is to go to a zoo. Go to a zoo, you can get some great pictures of tigers and parrots and crocodiles and everything. Um, and, and that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, th another thing you can do, of course, is, uh, is, is you know, get pictures of birds in, in your garden, put feeders up and, you know, every, I've seen thousands of pictures of woodpeckers on, on feeders and, and things like that, and that's fantastic. You really can get some very good detailed pictures of birds because you, because you're, you can get close to them, you can get to them in good light, and um, you can basically get lots of megapixels on the actual bird. Um, and so you're going to get fantastically sharp and good quality pictures. And that's, that's the best way to get really good sharp pictures. That's not the way I do it. <laughs> so my, my pictures don't have that, necessarily have that sort of uh, level of detail, level of uh, resolution that you, you might get from um, an animal photographed in a zoo or photographed on a bird table or something like that. But what, what my pictures are is all pictures of truly wild animals in their own habitat, in their own environment. And that is more challenging, but for me, it's more rewarding. Um, but it does, of course, mean that you spend an awful lot of time sitting on damp logs like this <laughs> and uh, nothing much is happening for hours and you're just scanning around looking for um, a little hint you're listening all the time for for birds for the footsteps of a an animal um, but that I don't know that to me is uh, there's something there's something quite uh, you know, you, 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 lots of people would say it was. You know, lots of people would say it was. It was boring and and so on. And that's f fair enough. But for me, it's just, I don't know. It, it takes me into a different world. It takes me into a world of a feeling of oneness. A feeling of oneness with with nature, with living things on this planet, with with everything natural. The weather the wind, um, the leaves, just a feeling of where you, you come out of yourself, you come out of your own, your, your own worries and concerns and uh, feelings and so on, and you just, your consciousness moves outside of your body, it moves outside of yourself and spreads around your hearing, your vision, and your consciousness leave your, almost like they leave, well this is how I feel about it, they leave your body and you, and you become aware of every little, every little twig that snaps a hundred meters off, every little squeak in the trees. You can hear the branches of trees rubbing as the wind blows them. And even hear leaves land on the forest floor. Um, and when you, to me, when, when, you, when I get to that level of consciousness, I feel, I just feel, I don't know, I feel, feel re uh, renewed. I can't, I can't really describe it, I don't know how to say it, but I just feel uh, a sense of well-being, a sense of being uplifted. And um, I, you know, I, I'm sure I'm sure there are lots of other ways of, for people to to get that feeling. You know, I mean, I, you, if you do vigorous sport, you get a, you get a buzz afterwards. You know, you're sort of all hyped up, or um, you know, if you meditate or whatever it is, do yoga, different things. Maybe people do that. You know, have that sense when they participate in in religious activities and religious ceremonies and things like that, but I, I have always felt it strongest um, when I'm in the woods, when I'm, I'm just on my own particularly, 
and I'm just able to be alongside the other things that are being here, the trees, the plants, the birds and the animals. And um, so anyway, that's a long way of saying I had a lovely day today. <laughs> I had, uh, I'll show you some pictures that I took of these fallow deer, a lovely family of deer, um, stags, young, young males, females, and what looked to me like um, young as well. Um, completely wild living here in the forest. Fallow deer just living wild in the forest. So um, I hope you enjoy the pictures I'm going to show you and uh, well, uh, see you next time. Take it easy. <laughs>